well met brave heroes and heroines of the world today we've got a list of our favorite hero in training midoriya izuku from the anime my hero academia with season four on its way i thought now would be a good time to talk about some of the best moments that our boy midoriya has had and to see how far he's come so break out the mobs to wipe away your waterfalls of tears because we're about to start <laughs> To start off the list, we show Midoriya being put through the Quirk Apprehension Test. Once they get accepted into the UA Hero course of Class 1A, the students are given a test to assess their various unique quirks and show what they're capable of. Eventually, it's our boy Deku's turn to take the test as an unimpressed Eraserhead watches on. But after inheriting the awful one quirk from his idol All Might, Deku was finally able to literally hurl the heavy ball out of the park. It left all of his fellow classmates in awe, even Eraserhead. Ahead. Without a doubt, Midoriya proved that he has hero potential. Sensei. For the ninth moment, it's the tag team match between Team Deku and Uraraka versus Team Bakugo and Ida. This moment showed some good old fashioned school rivalry taken to an octane level, as Deku and Uraraka are made as the heroes in a scenario where they stop the villains Ida and Bakugo from fulfilling their evil plan and seizing a fake bomb from them in a tag team exercise. The scene's a game of search and destroy as Bakugo hatefully calls out to Deku about how he hid his quirk to mock him and show him up. During this, Deku doesn't personally attack Bakugo but instead, with some quick thinking, makes his rival use his quirk so that they can retrieve the fake bomb. Just goes to show you that the brain is a superpower in and of itself. No matter how bad a situation looks, a true hero will always turn back to save a fallen comrade. In Deku's case, he got first-hand learning experience of this during the entrance exam. The students had to take on several giant robots to show how their quirk can be applied in the field to determine whether or not they'll get into either of the UA's hero courses. For the most part, Midoriya steered clear of the robots as he wasn't supposed to reveal his newly acquired quirk just yet, and for a while he managed to keep this up. But then his schoolmate Uraraka got caught under some rubble and couldn't get away from an attacking robot. Deku saw this and, remembering how nice she was to him when they all first entered the school, threw caution to the wind and used his quirk for the first time ever just to save his friend. It left everyone in awe that this chicken heart of a team packed so much power. And while he messed up his arm badly, it was an amazing save nevertheless. <laughs> To preface the next moment, let me ask you all this. Have you ever faced someone so intimidating, both physically and mentally, that you felt your heart stop when your eyes met one another? That was the situation as Midoriya, Todoroki and Ida fought Stain. While Deku has a reputation for leaping before he looks, if he decides to look at all that is, it was actually the usually sensible Ida who sought out the infamous hero killer that is Stain. His plan was to get revenge on Stain for crippling his older brother and short time hero Tensei aka Ingenium, and that whole encounter went as well as you would expect. At first it seemed like they were going to die, but together the heroes in the making actually managed to subdue Stain. <laughs> Yeah! 
It's a hero's duty to save everyone, including fellow heroes. And that's no different for a hero in training. While the pro heroes were busy working out a plan on how to save Bakugo after the League of Villains kidnapped him, Midoriya made the executive decision that the heroes in training should rescue him now. Of course, everyone took sides on whether to go with him or whether to stand back and let the pros handle it. In the end, it was Midoriya, Ida, Momo, Kirishima and Todoroki who went on a suicide mission in order to save their temperamental friend. Things got serious as Deku and friends realized what they got themselves into. Fortunately, however, they actually did manage to save Bakugo in the end. The students of UA were given a practical test in which they paired up in teams of two to fight one pro hero per team to improve their teamwork and show how far they've come individually. This made for some unique matchups, but the match we're talking about is Deku and Bakugo versus All Might. Now, the analytical Deku wanted to make a plan to handcuff the pro hero without much need for battle, but headstrong Bakugo once again shot off without taking aim and just started fighting. To his credit, Bakugo did make an effort, albeit a begrudging one, to win the practical test only for it to come up short and result in him getting beaten down pretty badly. At that point, Deku made the decision to win by taking the escape route than trying to subdue the pro who clearly had them outclassed. And with an amazing hit of everything that he has, Midoriya managed to save his rival and take the escape route, giving them the pass that they needed. <laughs> The highlight of the sports festival arc was seeing Todoroki and Deku come to blows in their match for a shot at the semi-finals. The team starts off relatively slow with it being obvious that Todoroki is holding back, not wanting to unleash his flame side as he doesn't want to be like his estranged father Endeavor. But encouraging words from Deku telling him that he's his own person make Todoroki unleash the full force of his other side, winning him the match. He encourages Todoroki to use his full power to get over his mental issues and grow as a person and this opposes his personal goal of the moment to win the match, but it serves the greater goal of having a peaceful world by helping the Allies grow as heroes. This scene comes straight from the movie My Hero Academia 2 Heroes, which has our class of budding protectors smack dab in the United States, facing a new threat with the help of All Might's old friend David Shield and his daughter Melissa. Without giving away too many spoilers in case you haven't seen the movie, Deku and All Might pair up towards the end of the film to deliver a devastating tag team blow that is the double Detroit smash combo. While it was just one scene, it nonetheless gave us the awe-inspiring predecessor and protege team up we've always wanted to see between the symbol of peace and young Midoriya. This takes place after the episode where All Might defeated All For One and announced his retirement. Whilst he's not a super fanboy like Midoriya, it's obvious that Bakugo greatly admires the symbol of peace. And when he retired and chose Deku to continue his legacy, he was pissed. The teenage personification of Rage said it was Deku's fault that All Might retired and demanded a fight to see what made him so special to continue his legacy. This episode would become the starting point of Bakugo's much needed redemption arc from an antagonizing rival to a relatively likable ally. And given how Majoria always looked up to him, I'd say this is a top moment indeed. <laughs>
final moment is an anxiety feuding yet still satisfying fight of Deku vs Muscular. This fight happened during the forest training camp park in which the League of Villains attacked the Hero Core students at the special training site of Razorhead and Vlad King took them to. As sadistic as he is strong, Muscular openly admitted that he wants to use his muscle augmentation quirk freely for the purpose of killing. So off the bat, Deku wasn't going to have an easy fight, and with young Kota in the way adding to the risk factor that makes the stakes even higher. Deku initially seems like he'll lose to the brawny villain, but thanks to a distraction from Kota, the hero in training manages to take Muscular out with his Delaware Detroit smash and tears right through the meathead's muscles. <laughs> And with that folks, we now wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed going down memory lane as much as I did. If you want to see more My Hero Academia content on this channel, then like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can maybe even follow me on social media by following the respective links in the description box as well. I bid all a plus ultra farewell.